evening. Hey, welcome. Perfect, have a good one. Thank you, me too. Something I noticed as I'm coming into Epcot, by the ticket booths, the colored ones, they painted the Epcot logo on the side of them. It's like that on all of them. Hey, what's up you guys? Good evening, I hope you're all doing well. We are here today at Epcot because there are a lot of new changes happening that I'm very, very, very excited about. The first one is that the um, walls around the fountain, around the plions in front of Spaceship Earth, they have come down and I've seen pictures of the fountain on Instagram, but I'm here in person right now. I'm going to go see it. There's also the barges for Harmonious over on the World Showcase Lagoon and so many more changes. So that's what we're going to be seeing today. So let's head on in, you guys. It's a little bit of a chilly evening here today at Epcot, so I'm wearing my little scarf to keep me warm. My goodness, guys, this is the brand new Epcot fountain in front of Spaceship Earth. It is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wow, listen to the water and everything. You can see the Epcot logo up on the top of the plions now. You can see how they're shaped on the base. You can even see all the little patterns on the top of the fountain too. Spaceship Earth, and above that, the moon. It's the Earth and the moon. We're going over to the land pavilion. Living with the land, um, their hours have extended to 9 o'clock, which is also the park close. So we can see all of the Christmas overlay they have on since it's dark now. It'll be visible in the greenhouse. Arrive at the land. Gonna make our way over to living with the land now. I'm gonna go on to living with the land. We're in the greenhouse section of Living with the Land now, Welcome and this is their Merry and Bright Nights where overlay. Where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee and rice, are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water lily, thrive in wet, sloppy areas and waterways. All parts of this plant even the flower petals are edible. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for baking. One day, many of these lesser known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the globe. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world. Consumption. 
Learning how to increase yield to bee staples is an important goal of research around the world. These plants are definitely on their way up. Innovative growing techniques like these increase yields while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. Another innovation at work here is our integrated pest management program. By populating our greenhouses with beneficial insects that prey on harmful pests, like aphids and flies, we are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. We're growing these crops using our nutrient film system. This technique precisely controls and recycles water and nutrients. With it, we can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year in this one small area. Some of our best ideas have been inspired by nature, like these fruit and vegetable trees. By growing these ground plants vertically, we can increase yields and better control diseases. These crops taste as good as they look. In fact, we serve more than 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses in restaurants here at the land every year. The future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. That saves water and increases production. The aquaponics system on your left combines hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plants and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less. In our lab, EPCOT scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. The goal of these efforts is to produce higher yielding and better quality plants. Journey into Imagination has a holiday overlay. I went on it last time I was at Epcot. That video will be linked down below. It's so cute, you guys. It has to do with figment. We're making our way over to see the new Harmonia barges now. It's over on the lagoon. Just passing by the Imagination Pavilion before we make our way over. I'm not sure if this will show up on my camera, but that spotlight right above the globe, like, right there. Those are from the fountain, the plions. So cool, it looks like just like a beacon of light. In the dead center of World Showcase Lagoon, that is the massive barge for Harmonious, which is a brand new daytime and nighttime show here at Epcot. Now, a lot of you guys will know that Illuminations, Reflections of Earth, was their previous nighttime show. Fantastic, beautiful, saw the last day, cried. <laughs> Those videos will be linked down below if you want to check them out. And then after Illuminations, they had a show known as Epcot Forever, which was supposed to be temporary while they waited for Harmonious to start. However, it was supposed to start in March of this year, but everything happened. Um, and during the shutdown, they didn't get to do anything with Harmonious. Now that they have reopened the park, they started to do more work for Harmonious. And this is supposed to be a daytime and nighttime show as I mentioned before. And the daytime show is going to be a fountain one, sort of similar to the Fountain of Nations that they had over in the center of Future World, back when they had the electric umbrella and Club Cool. 
but I'm very, very excited to see what they're gonna be doing with Harmonious. Can't wait for this show to begin. I'll be sure to be there on day one to film it for you guys. The tree at Epcot um, in the nighttime, it looks like glimmering jewels and gemstones. It's so pretty, including the lights they have over on the port of entry stores. Still a lot of Christmas stuff here at Epcot's Port of Entry store. All of my videos related to Christmas merchandise here at Disney will be linked down in my description below. But they are 30% off on select holiday headwear, apparel, tabletop, plush and toys. It is a 30% off. Thirty percent here as well. No, I don't have this is the tree over at Epcot in the night. It's very beautiful. I always like the angel topper that they have on this tree holding the globe. Cause I think we could all need some world peace. Thanks for visiting us today. I really especially love how the moon is behind her too in this shot. The ornaments on the tree here at Epcot, they have flags from the different countries that they have in the World Showcase, alongside many different languages saying happy holidays. There's one, there's another one, two up there and another holiday ta greeting tag right there. I miss seeing the monorail go by. Would always wait around here to get the perfect shot. short evening here today at Epcot. Had a lot of fun. We saw the Epcot fountains which are right behind me, the brand new ones. We saw the Living with the Land holiday overlay and we even saw the barges for Harmonious. I thank you all so much for watching this video. If you're already subscribed to my channel, thank you very much. It means a lot to me. And for those who have not subscribed to my channel yet, please be sure to hit the red subscribe button down below alongside the bell icon so you guys never miss an upload from me. Don't forget to give this video a like, comment down below, and share this video with your friends and family. Remember to be kind, stay humble, and God bless. I love and appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart, and I'll see you all real soon.